Welcome everyone, it's Amy here and I'm thrilled to have you back at Star Within Grace. Today we're delving into the enchanting realm of family matching outfits for photo shoots. From selecting the perfect color palette to incorporating prints and textures, I've got tips and ideas that will transform your family photos into cherished memories. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button and ring the bell for more upcoming videos. Now let's talk family matching outfits. Before we dive into outfit tips, let's discuss the crucial step of choosing the right photographer. Selecting someone whose style aligns with your vision can elevate your family photos. There are four main photography styles and every studio or photographer will have their own unique take as well. First one, documentary photography. Capturing in between moments, it's raw and candid. Ideal for those who value authenticity over posing. Think a day in the life photos, documenting routine activities. Number two, studio photography. Held in a studio. The photographer uses lights and equipment to create a specific mood, guiding the family for posed shots. It's organized with plenty of guidance. Number three, fine art photography. Transforming portraits into art. These images resemble paintings. Hand-picked locations and meticulous post-processing give them a classic, unique feel. And lastly, we have lifestyle photography, my favorite style. This approach involves chasing moments in dreamy, carefully selected locations. The photographer captures candid, raw moments without much posing or direction. Lifestyle portraits are real, meaningful, and visually appealing, but don't take quite as long as the documentary ones. Editing styles also vary from bold and colorful to vintage or light and airy to dark and moody. Pick a photographer whose style resonates with you and complements your home decor. Once you've secured your photographer, it's time to plan your outfits. Start by defining a cohesive style that speaks to the collective spirit of your family. However, remember it's not about matching, it's about coordination. Don't have everyone in jeans and a white tee. You can still go the denim and white route without everyone wearing the same thing. Add in overalls, denim shorts or skirts, denim jackets, collared shirts instead of basic tees, etc. You get the idea. The key is to create a unified look that celebrates individuality. Add those personal touches from heirloom jewelry to distinctive accessories that make each family member stand out. I recommend having two outfit options in mind. One start up and another paired back for a casual effortless vibe. Steer clear of stiff formal attire as it tends to date quickly on your walls. Your family photos should feel timeless, capturing moments that are as relevant in the years to come as they are today. Consider injecting a touch of thematic flair into your photo shoot. While holidays like Easter or Christmas might suggest a theme, even regular photo shoots can adopt a distinctive style. Themes such as boho, nautical or smart casual can align seamlessly with your family's personalities. Let your creativity flow. If you're a musical family, why not incorporate instruments? Living on a farm? Cowboy hats and boots can add a charming touch. While props can be fun, they often become more of a hassle than they're worth. The most memorable pictures are often those that capture genuine moments. Families walking, hugging, playing, or simply snuggling together. When selecting your family photo style, consider the purpose of the images. If the images are destined for social media, embrace creativity with open arms. Whether it's quirky, vibrant, or artistic, social media allows for a wide spectrum of expression. If, on the other hand, the intention is to proudly display these moments on your walls, it's time to harmonize with your home decor. Consider the tones and patterns that resonate well with your living space. In a house with a light and airy ambience, bold and colorful photos might not be the ideal choice. Picture creating an aesthetic symphony where each photo contributes to the visual harmony of your home. The golden rule in this endeavor is to stay true to who you are as a family. 
Family photos are not about creating Insta-worthy images that mirrors everyone else's. They are about authentically celebrating your unique personalities. Each member of your family brings a distinctive personality, style, likes, dislikes, and that's precisely what should be celebrated. Let your family's style shine through and let your clothing reflect your genuine selves. Now onto a crucial aspect, choosing the right color palette. Even without a specific theme, a color palette adds cohesion and polish. So how do you choose a color palette? Firstly, once again, consider your home decor, especially if you plan to showcase these memories on your walls. Then peek into your family's closets and work with the clothes they already love. Forcing uncomfortable outfits may reflect in the photos. So find a compromise that merges with your home aesthetics while authentically celebrating your family's unique style. While buying new outfits is an option, it's not necessary and carries the risk of fit issues or discomfort if the material is itchy, etc. Another influential factor could be your photo shoot location. It's not just a backdrop, but a palette in itself. Consider the tones and hues in your surroundings, contemplating how your selected color palette might harmonize with them. When it comes to color choices, it's advisable to steer clear of overly bright colors. These not only dominate the final image, but can lead to unwanted reflections when shooting in natural light. Instead, opt for muted or pastel tones. Remember, you don't all have to wear every single color. Aim for a nice balance of each. To spark some inspiration, let's explore current styling trends and examples that might resonate with your family's vibe. First up, we have classic monochrome. The classic monochrome palette comprised of black, white, and gray tones with textured elements like charcoal, linen, and light grays is perfect for a timeless, sophisticated look that complements any period home. Next, we have light and neutral. The light and neutral palette featuring neutral warm tones like clay, oatmeal, and dusty grays with textured elements like linen offers an ideal choice for a fresh and bright aesthetic, perfectly suited for Scandinavian or neutral interior styles. Next, we have classic white and denim. The classic white and denim palette characterized by a classic style featuring white and denim elements such as washed denim and classic t-shirts is an excellent choice for achieving a retro 90s look. To enhance this aesthetic, be sure to accessorize with kids Converse or Vans shoes along with stylish hats. This timeless combination exudes a cool and casual vibe, creating a nostalgic yet stylish atmosphere for your family photo shoot. Another one is green and neutral. The green and neutral palette featuring forest greens paired with natural tones like olive, pine, sage, and oatmeal, as well as textures like linen, is an ideal choice for achieving an eco luxe and botanical design look. This palette harmoniously ties in with a home full of greenery, creating a visually appealing and nature-inspired atmosphere for your family photo shoot. And we also have Pop of Color. The Pop of Color palette introduces a single, vibrant hue amidst neutral tones and textures. Some colors that work well as the pop include cinnamon, dusty sands, and warm linen. This combination adds impactful visual interest without overpowering the overall look, making it ideal for wall displays. Typically, the bolder colors are worn by the kids while the parents complement the scheme in neutral tones, creating a harmonious and visually appealing family ensemble. Remember, these are just a few options and feel free to mix and match elements. For our photo shoot, we went with light and neutral, a pop of color and green and neutral, all of which would have worked on our walls. We didn't end up having time for the third outfit though. Two outfit choices are plenty. Now that we've cracked the code on color palettes, let's explore prints and textures. Incorporating subtle prints and mixing textures works wonders, adding a touch of flair and depth to your family's ensemble, regardless of the color palettes you've chosen. While some suggest an all block color approach, I like incorporating one patterned outfit with the rest of the family wearing complementary block colors. Additionally, avoid logos and graphics for a cleaner look. Imagine delicate florals, soft stripes, or tiny geometrics prints that add interest in detail without overwhelming. It's possible to pull off two patterned outfits if they complement each other well. 
either through similar colors or one featuring a more subtle pattern. But I wouldn't tend to go for more than that. Too many mixed patterns can appear distracting and busy. For more insights on mixing patterns, check out my dedicated post on print mixing, as the principles for individual pattern coordination apply seamlessly to family photo shoots. While less is more when you are adding prints, when it comes to texture, there's no such thing as too much. Texture isn't just about touch, it's about visual depth that adds richness to your photos. Whether it's the cozy warmth of knits, the crispness of linen, the smoothness of silk, or the intricacy of lace, mixing textures not only sparks interest, but also enhances depth in your photos, especially with clothing items that have movement, such as flowy skirts and dresses. <laughs> To begin the styling process, find a neutral space in your home where you can lay out outfits without distractions. For instance, if you lay them out on a dark maroon patterned bedspread, your eyes might deceive you into believing the clothes don't coordinate when, in fact, they simply clash with that bedspread. Colours can play tricks on the eyes when laid against different hues. While many suggest starting with your outfit and building the family's looks around you, my approach differs slightly. With an abundance of outfit choices at my disposal, I opted to begin with my daughter, who had only three options aligning with my desired color palettes. Considering her picky tastes, I prioritized addressing the most challenging family member first. This could be us mums grappling with post-baby body insecurities. Maybe it's your husband navigating a limited wardrobe, or even your teenager dismissing everything you pick out as uncool. Regardless, tackling their outfits paves the way for a smoother process. It can be a good idea to involve family members, especially if you have little girls or teenagers with strong opinions about their outfits. While it doesn't mean giving them free reign, providing choices can make them feel empowered. For example, offer them a choice between two dresses in the right color palette or between a skirt and shorts, both of which you'd be happy with. This not only helps in coordinating outfits, but also gives them a sense of control and involvement in the decision-making process. Once you've settled on the challenging person's outfits, progress to the next most difficult family member, and so forth. I personally gathered every clothing item within my desired color palette from each family member, then meticulously narrowed down choices. Factors like cuteness of baby outfits, the incorporation of various textures, and the harmonization of tones were considered, all while allowing for some contrast. Importantly, ensure parent outfits complement each child's attire, allowing for cohesive single photos that still make sense without the whole family present. After finalizing the core outfits, amp up the coordination with some cool shoes and accessories. For instance, if someone is wearing a neutral ensemble, introduce colors from other outfits through accessories like headbands or earrings. <laughs> Hats can be a playful addition, injecting a considerable amount of personality. Let accessories be your way of adding individuality to the coordinated vibe. If shoes don't match, or you're aiming for a more laid back feel, consider going barefoot. These were the three dresses I selected for my daughter. I purchased one of them new with her input. I found several cute dresses aligning with the style and color palette and she chose this particular one. Along with the dress, I ordered matching shoes. Next, I focused on narrowing down my favorite baby outfits that would complement my daughter's dresses. I couldn't resist including suspenders for that charming touch. And the orange lounge set complemented my daughter's dress perfectly for that pop of color aesthetic. Choosing between the leaf patterned romper with linen shorts and the subtly striped overalls with a tee proved challenging, so I ended up including both options. Although we didn't use the green outfit during the shoot. It happens. While I considered styling Bub with shoes, I opted against it, prioritizing his comfort and mobility as he's still learning to walk. Narrowing down my own outfits was tricky. Before I created actual outfits, I gathered all the clothes I owned in the chosen color palettes and tested them alongside my family's attire. Some hues didn't quite match, so they were culled. 
In the process, I noticed that some combinations lacked patterns, so I decided to introduce my own patterned pieces, such as the animal print skirt. Another piece that caught my eye was a dress with a captivating texture, adding a lot of interest to the ensemble. Since my daughter opted for dresses throughout the shoot, I aimed to balance the overall look by going for a more casual vibe with pants. The high-waisted linen pants paired with the ribbed top provided the perfect juxtaposition. I then carefully selected the best top to complement the pattern skirt. While I appreciated the neckline, silhouette and details of one top, I ultimately favoured the contrast offered by the pure white tee. To add more complementary colours and subtle patterns, I incorporated headbands and earrings into the ensemble. For my husband, finding coordinating outfits was relatively easy, as most of his shorts and tops went together interchangeably. After initially laying out three outfits, I made some last minute swaps. Given that the first combination turned out to be the dressiest, I decided to switch my husband's more formal pieces to that ensemble, aligning with my son's white collared shirt and dress chinos. This t-shirt with interesting texture was paired with looks that needed an extra touch. Here are some quick fire practical insights to keep in mind as you narrow down your outfit choices for a flawless family photo shoot. Remember, comfort is key. Avoid ill-fitting or restrictive clothing that might hinder your ability to enjoy the shoot, especially when running or cuddling with the kids. Steer clear of skirts or dresses that are too short to ensure worry-free posing. Try to resist overdressing little girls with excessive sequins and frills. Instead, opt for equally feminine alternatives like linen dresses, lace shorts, cotton tunics and knits. Think about clothes that won't require much adjustment during the shoot. Since many photos are close-ups of faces, make sure to introduce a variety of tones and textures on the top half of the body. Don't stress too much about clothes with stains. They often won't be noticeable in photos or can be easily photoshopped out. Pay attention to underwear choices to avoid unwanted visibility of bra straps or colorful undergarments. Schedule haircuts a couple of weeks prior, particularly for the males in the family. And just as crucial for achieving fantastic family photos, here are my tried and true tips to ensure a seamless photo shoot. One, schedule a time when they are well rested. Plan the photo shoot at a time when your kids are well rested to ensure better cooperation. It's more important to have happy faces over a beautiful sunset. Two, set expectations. Preemptively set expectations and explain the process with your children a day before the shoot, emphasizing its brevity and promising a treat afterward. Give the reward no matter what. They worked hard for it. Tell them that the photo shoot means a lot to you and explain what you'll do with the photos. Change kids' clothes on site. Change your kids into their photo shoot outfits once you arrive at the location. To prevent last minute stains and um, food from snacks they might want. <laughs> Speaking of snacks, bring snacks. Bring non-messy snacks to keep them happy during the session. Utilize music. Use music to create a light atmosphere. Embrace unexpected moments. Even if things don't go as planned, embrace the unexpected. Sad or tender moments can result in exceptionally beautiful photos. Some of my favorite pictures with my daughter were when she was upset and I was just giving her a cuddle. Prioritize important photos first. Start with the most crucial photos you want to capture, typically beginning with a group photo as it can be challenging to coordinate. Capture photos of multiple kids together early on when they are more likely to cooperate. Save silly moments for the end. Save silly and playful moments for the end of the session. As children get more energized, it becomes harder to bring them back to a calm state. Ending on a light note serves as a good tension release as well. Capture moments of just you and your partner. Take some pictures of just you and your partner right at the end when the kids may be running around or occupied with their own activities. It doesn't have to take long, but having recent photos of just the two of you is a wonderful addition to your collection. Many couples have wedding photos, but it's great to showcase how you've evolved since then. In summary, stay true to your family style, coordinate outfits, choose a complimentary color palette, 
incorporate prints and textures, and follow practical tips for a smooth photo shoot. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see your amazing family photos. If you'd like more tips on pattern mixing, watch on.